Hello, hello, Angel. I hope you're having a wonderful, splendiferous day. I know I am. <laughs> so I recently got some questions about padding. Now for people who are unfamiliar with padding, unfamiliar with drag queens and their crazy trickery and talents, padding is what we do to make ourselves go from like a tiny little, well for me, tiny little, little side body, no hips, no hips heel, no hips, no, 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 and transform into this, ooh, uh, voluptuous, uh, female, uh, woman. It's what we do to sell the female illusions. So I'm gonna show you how I design my little hips every night when I go out. Now I do have different sizes and I'm not gonna necessarily show you how to make the tools that I'm using. That'll be in another video. But hopefully this will show you how to kind of place everything together, what materials to use to get everything all up there. <laughs> if this is something that interests you, go ahead and keep watching. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is show you an example of what padding might look like. Now these are a pair of old pads of mine. They're getting, they're getting there, woo. So what this is, is foam core. You can get them in green, you can get them in white. Now I would say whatever is just the cheapest for you, go ahead and use that. Now these are fairly thin. You might be thinking, well that's not gonna make a difference. It really does. And if you notice, there's this like area right here, which is like bulkier than any other part. This is what sits right here because you want this, look at that already. Look at this, nothing, something. <laughs> so I bought this at a Joann's fabric and then what I did is I took some scissors and cut around it. Typically you wanna do like the shape of Africa. I also use like an X-Acto knife to kind of help shape it down as well. When I have the funds, maybe I will make a tutorial showing you that, but I'm not gonna do so now because I'm not buying one if I don't need one because I'm poor. <laughs> the part that kind of sticks out a little bit is going to be where the butt is. So you see here, you'll just wrap it around like so, and this is gonna stay down like so. So to wrap around like this, All right? And to keep it into place, what you gotta do is use a bunch of uh, stockings, tights, whatever you have. So now these are an old pair of mine. I'm gonna show you the pair that I'm gonna use today. Now they are already, see how much significantly bigger they are? Now these are two pads in here. What they are, they are um, inside a pair of stockings. I like to keep them inside of stockings because it just makes life easier. If you stuff them in prior to putting on the stockings, they're kind of already in their place already, which is quite nice. In addition to those pads, those two pads, there's also two additional pads in here. Little butt pads. This one broke a little bit, so I try to even her out with some duct tape. All right, so I'm gonna take you through how to put all that stuff together and sell the illusion. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is put on some boy underwear. You wanna wear a pair that's kind of like Speedos, so they don't kind of get in the way. Um, if you have lines here, you might actually see it in the end result. Now, I wear so much padding <laughs> that I actually do not have to tuck at all. Sometimes you see like a little bit of lump, it could be like a meaty tuck, but it's never really noticeable. All right, so these undies are on, that's what they look like. <laughs> don't look at my steps. Now to help this to be even more secure, I'm gonna go in with a pair of panties. And I just pike this up like so. So at least it's like a little bit of a tuck. Now this next thing is all up to you. I like to never wear any socks. But if you want to wear like a super super thin layer of socks because the tights feel funny on your feet or something, wear socks. But do know that it's just going to be an extra layer of just fabric on your feet and you're going to find it difficult to one, fit your foot inside of your heel, two, keep your foot from sweating so much that, I don't know, I don't really have sweaty feet. What happens when your feet sweat? I guess it smells. Those are manly problems that I don't have. <laughs> Alright, our next step is to take our two pads inside of a pair of stockings. Now remember, now that the, we kind of see the shape here, this is gonna be the booty. So I'm gonna jump into this this way. And you kind of put your foot in there and then just roll it all up. I'm gonna grab all of this fabric prior so I can just throw my foot right in here. So I like to hike this up till about this area-ish. 
I want to make sure that this is all covered by this elastic band. Try your best to make it as even as possible. Also try your best to keep this as high as possible. All right, cute. Now if you notice, she's got a bit of a booty, but we want to give her a little bit more. So we're going to take these. I didn't cut these out in any particular kind of shape. I just wanted to make sure that one side was a little bit longer than the other side. All right? you can follow this cross if you'd like. So I don't think it matters too much that they are completely symmetrical or super even. I just try to be careful that everything is actually inside of the elastic band and this stops here or around there and this stops here or around there. I will say it is important to remind yourself that this is drag and nothing has to be perfect. Even though this makeup is kind of everything, she might be a little perfect. <laughs> All right, our next step is to layer on a bunch of tights. Layer and layer and layer and layer. Now I have many a pair to choose from. Now I personally suggest getting a pair of fishnets, except not in black, but rather in um, a flesh color. Now what the fishnet tends to do is make the leg look textured as opposed to like super sleek. But regardless, either one works, you're fine in either way. All right, so the rule that I personally have is you have to use dancer tights. However, only use one pair. Now the reason why I say this is because if you put on one too many pairs of dancer tights, it's going to be so tight around here that it will be painful. Now what I used to do is put on a pair of these very light capizios and then add it with a layer of nude, for me nude, uh, capizios. And by capiz capiz by capizio, I just mean dancer tights. What I found is that they're just, they're just too tight when they're both combined at the same time. And our goal here is to try our best to mask all the green, okay? We don't want any green showing up. So I'm actually gonna start with just a pair of white tights. These have foots, footy foots on them. And just like we did earlier with the stockings, I'm gonna wrap my foot or wrap my hand in here and then place my foot right in there and then push it up. Easy peasy. If you find yourself like bending over a lot and moving this around, um, especially like around, along your knees, then this tends to shift quite a bit. Try to get that nice and high. You see that? Is the illusion coming through yet? Is it there for you? Uh, let's put on another pair of white. These are fairly loose for me. They're not like incredibly tight. So they do wonders for my hips. And I wanna draw your attention to like just the crotch area really quick. You can see like there's no like bulge, <laughs> no boy bulge because this is so forward that it just covers everything. We're gonna go right into the capizios. And because these are dancer tights, you're going to see that it makes a fairly big difference in trying to confine the padding. It's important to try to make changes as you go because if you find that the padding is a little bit off, you can't really make a change. All right, so the shape is just about nearly there. Now what we have to do is just minimize the, you know, not skin color. <laughs> Look at the difference here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pair of these. This is like a really cheap pair of uh, tights. I think it was ShopRite. <laughs> All right, now that's significantly better. The only thing I don't like about these is that there's this little like, do you see this line here? I don't like that. But they were cheap, so I'm not gonna complain too much. And the shape is like... So I'm gonna go into these darker stockings and pack them on until I feel like my skin matches. And once again, you can see this awful line. Now these are kind of nice because the panty line is here and here, so it's not here. 
And what this will do is just lighten up that last pair. Now we have multiple layers of panty line, <laughs> which can be a bit annoying, but you know, you work with it. Now, if I want this to match my skin a little bit better, I will often use the nude Papizio. Well, I'm not gonna layer this on top of this because that would be way too much for me. I know my limits. Ooh, hair. Know your limits. So next thing I do is I will take a dance belt. It's basically a thong for dancers, for male dancers to keep their junk together. I'm just gonna hike this up. As you can see, panty line is still visible. Panty line one, now two, and then three. This should be hiked up right in the booty crack to give it realistic features. So if you don't use this line here, this can be very like flat this way, very like flat horizontally. Now, if you're someone who wants a little skin to your waist, you can also pop in a corset. Now this is a fairly cheap corset from Amazon. You kind of just like hold it here and then hook it in the back with Velcro. I'm already fairly skinny as it is, so I don't try very hard in getting this cinched. And look at that. She looks like a woman. Bam, 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 bam. Now, I should probably take this in a little bit so that the stark difference here isn't so stark. This side is, is a little bit better. It's a little bit more blended. But this side is giving you like, Muscle. <laughs> I fell. Don't you worry, I just fell. Everything's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and see her in a pair of pants. Let's see, I was wearing this earlier. So you can see the stark difference between the two. All right. Alrighty, so I put on a pair of pants that I will likely wear tomorrow. Nice. That's one thing you can't twerk because it's not your booty. All right, so I'm actually gonna put on my little outfit that I'm gonna wear for the night. And um, I'll actually, I'll let you see what it looks like. All right, so I threw on my little prom dress little prom baby doll. Got like no tits though. That's the look. Uh -huh. Alrighty angels, I hope this video was informative, helpful for you. I've got some like other tricks up my sleeve so when I do more videos you'll see more tricks ensue, okay? If you're down for more little tips here and there, go ahead and subscribe below. Follow me, see more of my videos that I do later on without having to search me up. It'll just Bing, it'll be right there. Especially if that bell icon, that's how that works, right? Bells, bells, ding, I'm here. I don't know how it works. I've been hitting bell icons and I don't get no notifications. I have no idea how it works. But if you figured it out for yourself, girl, go ahead and do it. Alrighty, angels, I hope you have a wonderful, splendiferous day. Bye-bye. <laughs> she is feeling hot. Oh, it's <laughs> Oh. Mm.